new hunt. I'm just taking a walk along the river here, uh, along the Susquehanna River banks, looking in one of my usual places that I've looked over the years. Uh, it's a little bit rainy, as you can see, which doesn't bother me as long as it doesn't stop, uh, it doesn't start pouring. But I found a couple of flakes so far, and uh, not much else. But I just came up on something here, and it's too bad. Looks like that would have been killer. You can see right in the center there, that is the tip of a very nicely made point. It's just too bad that the whole thing ain't there. That probably would have been a nice looking point. Decent size to it, but you find a lot of brokes, but that just tells me that just tells you you're in the right area. Uh, like I said, I'm picking up some flakes and stuff here. You can see how well washed it is. The river is down a little bit. Uh, it's supposed to maybe go up about a foot or so because of the uh, rain that we had last night. So I figured I'd come out here and hit it before it went up. Um, if it goes up, it's not going to go up that much, but it might cover this little section here. So I want to get these little rock washes and little bars and stuff taken care of and get a good look at them. But all right, hopefully there'll be something else to show you gonna continue to walk up I got a now well, maybe about another hundred yards or so of this area where uh, it produces points so hopefully there'll be something else we'll see you on the next find okay just wanted to show you it's nothing much but it's a piece of Native American pottery right there I do find a little bit of that here which I think I mentioned in previous videos when I was here this site seems to be pretty much late archaic into the early woodland yeah it's definitely pottery you can see the temper in there the little uh impressions in the clay here that they made so definitely a piece of pottery uh, i'm still going this place i've one of the reasons i come here it's just loaded see the fire the reddened rock right here there's another piece right there these are all the remains of ancient campsites. Um, you would have had some campsites right here, down on the riverbank. They would have been down here fishing or doing what they needed to do. But some of the stuff is already from being in the channel. And a lot of the stuff is eroding out of the bank. Now where this grass and stuff is, um, I've been here during times of the year when that grass wasn't there and I found flakes and points up in there but I always wait for the river to come down uh it's at about one and a half feet right now in the Susquehanna and um I wait for this stuff to get exposed once this kind of stuff gets exposed and I can see all of the fire crack rock in here that's when I make my find so picked up a couple of flakes it's been about I don't know I've probably been down here about 20 minutes after I showed you that tip of that arrowhead uh, tip of that point but I'm going to keep going. Still got some more just up past that rock. And uh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully we get lucky. See you on the next. All right, guys. I was just showing you that piece of pottery which came from right down here just two minutes ago. So what I usually do with this is because it's wider, I walk up, get a field of view right in here, and then I come back. And I, I, I always go up to where the end of the rock line is. You can see how that's cut. So you'll get stuff that'll wash out and lay in here and kind of filter its way down through here. But it's always important to check up high. Because as I was, right after I put that piece of pottery in my pocket, I just went, well, it was actually right there. I just went right up to here and then I came up here and was searching this little cut. And I just happened to look up and right on the bank, I haven't even touched it yet. There you go. Kind of crude, but definitely a point. Look at that. Not sure on the type. Nice little corner notch there. And this is made out of the, the cobbles that are here. I can see already a little bit that redness right in there is actually part of the outside rind. This was probably a little chert cobble or flint cobble. Let me see if I can find one here. To show you what I mean. There's little cobbles of flint. Now the natives would find good sources of flint. They'd find veins of the flint like up on the mountains or 
you know, on the hills and stuff. But they would also, on the riverbank, whatever they can use. Now, this is not flint, but they'd be little, little stones this big. Maybe a little bit bigger, maybe a little bit smaller. And they would crack them open and see if they had any useful flint in it. And you got to find the right one, but they would find a piece of, you know, a workable piece of flint inside that stone and they would chip it. And I think that's what this is. This was made out of a, a river cobble that was laying down here and they just chipped it up made a point but all right that's a good find good start we'll see you on the next hey guys this is going to be the uh, quick wrap up on the little walk that i did last night along the susquehanna river um there was just three small clips there that you just saw and uh that spot there i i've been walking that area for years um like I said, the river comes up and down, and it'll pull new stuff out. Sometimes it washes over stuff. Sometimes it cleans it up. But anyway, um, I got a handful of flakes, and these are just little pieces of flint. And these are created as they are making arrowheads or tools, any of the stone tools and stuff. Uh, this is some rhyolite here, which... I'm up in northeastern Pennsylvania. This stuff is found mostly uh, in southern pennsylvania down towards uh oh down past allentown uh it seems to be a a hot spot at least for there and then going down into virginia you find a lot of this so there seems to be a lot of use of this type of uh, material this rhyolite um especially here in the northeast uh along the river uh, especially during the transitional archaic where you get your Susquehanna broad points and your soapstones um, you're gonna see a lot of this along there but also got a couple pieces of Jasper but as far as the artifacts that I did find you saw the clip of uh, this tip that I found pretty sharp tip this was probably part of a Susquehanna broad point they're usually kind of tall um, and then they you know they have the the typical base on them but too bad that was snapped that was the find of the of the hunt not sure on the type but i think i've said in previous videos when i've been in that spot and found points that spot is a uh, that site there is between the uh the late archaic the transitional archaic which is where your Susquehanna broad points are about four or five thousand years old, um, up into the woodland times, up until maybe about two thousand years ago, thousand years ago. Uh, that's why you're still finding, like I, I still find pieces of this pottery. I've never found anything older than Susquehanna broad points, so it's not a very old used site. I've never found any kind of um, earlier archaic points or anything like that there. But this piece of jasper, I'm pretty sure there's some edge wear on this. So this may have been used as a uh, little thumb scraper. And this one flake that I picked up, you can see along the edge there, maybe. Hard to tell. That, that light stuff there that you see is from being in my pocket, I think. But there's some edge wear on this. And some people will call this like a knife. I usually call them like utilized flakes. There was just a flake that they picked up. It was sharp. Could have been using it for, uh, you know, for skinning or something like that. These fit really nicely into your fingers. And if you're skinning like a deer hide, I've actually practiced with this. I skinned out a deer a couple years ago. I skinned out a deer with, uh, just with flakes that I have found on the riverbank. So these things can get really sharp. This one here is kind of, it's the edges dulled down a bit and that's from being used. It's been, uh, you know, like I said, maybe used on a hide or something, but. All right, I just wanted to give you a real quick uh, wrap up on what I found last night uh, down on the Susquehanna River. I said I was lucky enough to get that point, which is pretty cool. I have a, another couple of clips from two or three hunts that I did uh, with the metal detector that should that video should come out maybe next week um, I didn't have a lot of footage I did find a few things but nothing great uh, but hey that's how it goes sometimes and here in Pennsylvania I know in the other parts of the country it's been really hot it was like 95 98 the one day 
Um, so we had like three or four days of really hot temps. So I wasn't doing anything. <laughs> but uh, hopefully we'll get out again this week and see how that goes. But I'll show you another video of the metal detecting uh, in a couple of days. But thanks for watching. Um, really appreciate it. Hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you like the content. And I will see you on the next hunt. Take care.